This is a messy background. This is a messy video in general. Oh my gosh, I haven't said my intro. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's me again, Brittany, and today I am actually doing my Reading Rush TBR slash journal with me. I kind of wanted this to be a more chit-chatty situation, first of all, because I'm doing this so, so late in the game. It's not going to be the most quality, honestly. We can hope for the best, but we're here. I was actually debating whether I wanted to do the Reading Rush this year. Let me tell you really quick what we're gonna do, that way we can get started on that style of the video. But I did just want to do my spread for the reading rush, talk to you about what's going to be on my TBR, like kind of a soft TBR, and let you know that in general, I believe that I'm going to be trying to do daily vlogs. And we're just gonna kind of chit chat about all those things. We're gonna chit chat about my TBR, chit chat on my feelings, chit chat on that good time. So let's get started. I have the challenges on my iPad because I've honestly already kind of forgotten and I'm not going to be holding up the books just because I'm already doing so many other things. Again, this is not going to be the most quality spread. I just kind of wanted to do something a little different than just give you my TBR. Yeah, so the reading rush. I have always really loved the reading rush and last year I had a really good time daily vlogging for it, but I really do think that last year the reading rush was kind of the start of my physical reading slump and I really was trying to push through it just because I feel like as a booktuber you just can't have physical reading slumps and I've been trying to push through it since then, honestly, but it's been kind of a tough one. I just keep finding myself too distracted, too busy, too, too everything to actually physically read. And it's very frustrating because you start a book channel because you love to read. And lately I just feel like that hasn't been my feelings behind reading. And because of those reasons, I originally wasn't going to participate in the reading rush. I wasn't going to daily vlog. I just didn't want to hold myself to this kind of pressure. But I actually was watching Allie from Hardback Quarters Reading Rush TBR video and it really resonated with me because she's kind of talking a lot of the same things that I was feeling of just kind of feeling uninspired and just not in this bookish reading mood. She was kind of hoping that the reading rush is going to be like a turnaround for her. Like she is gonna feel more connected to the community, feel more connected to her channel after the fact. And I was thinking about that and I was like, dang girl, you're totally right. Like I think that it would be really cool to maybe do this and hope for the best and not put maybe too much pressure on myself, but to literally just hope that I am going to be feeling motivated to be a booktuber and read books again, you know, the the classic stuff. So I decided to do it and I think that I'm going to try and daily vlog but maybe my daily vlogs won't be as in-depth as last year's were. I'll probably only be vlogging for the first half of the day. That way, like, editing isn't as stressful and I can get it uploaded all in the same day. So that's all really exciting and that is why I'm doing the reading rush. So let's kind of, while I wait for this to dry, let's start on the, um, the challenges, you know. You know, the thing that we're doing this for. I don't know how I want to write this out. I probably should have sketched this all before going in, but I didn't, so <laughs> we're here. Yes, sure. That feels great. I really just want this to be simple. I don't want to put too much pressure on myself like I always do to do like perfect spreads because they're never going to be perfect, you know? So you might as well just have a good time with it. So the first challenge is to read a book with a cover that matches the color of your birthstone. For this one I actually had kind of a hard time thinking about it. So I was born in August. My birthstone is a peridot. I'm not terribly fond of it. I don't love light green. It just kind of is not my favorite color. But that's my birthstone so we're gonna go with it. And I actually realized that Witchy, which is a graphic novel that we recently received in an owl crate, it has these beautiful like greenish light green tones all over the cover and it fits perfectly for this challenge, you know? And plus it's a graphic novel. Like I said, I'm really trying not to put too much pressure on myself. And uh, because of that, I am trying to do like as many like fun things to read as possible during this and not like put some hefty books onto my TBR, you know? So let's, uh, let's write that out really quick. And I believe that the premise of this book is that there are witches, 
that the length of your hair determines the amount of power that you have, but like there's a point of too much power and that the government doesn't want that kind of situation to happen. That was what I remember from the summary, but I just think it's gonna be a really good time. I think that it's just gonna be fun and I'm glad that it's light green and can fit in with this challenge. Now for the second challenge, ironically enough, this is one that I had the most difficulty with and that's read a book that starts with the word the. And for right now I am leaving these boxes blank because things might change around as the reading rush goes on. I'm not really sure, you know, I'm trying to go with the flow so I don't want to lock myself in. But for this I kind of, I again, had a really hard time picking one out and I think that I finally settled for the Queen of Nothing by Holly Black because this has been on my list for quite a while. It is a I dropped the cap. It is a relatively short book, like in comparison to a lot of fantasies. So I think that it would be a good one to have just in general on my TBR, just because, you know, I like fantasy. It's something that I already know and love. Should be short, should be fast. But again, this one's really up for whatever my mood strikes me as in the moment because I'm trying, trying to not rely too heavily on audiobooks for this reading rush. We're gonna see how that ends up going for me just because if an audiobook is what I need, I'm not gonna tell myself not to, but I don't wanna just kind of fall back on being like, well, I'm just gonna listen to an audiobook so I can complete this challenge. No, I really wanna complete challenges because I want to complete challenges. I know oh, that's mind blowing. I don't know why that's just such a hard concept for me to have grasped until right now. So The Queen of Nothing is a book that I definitely wanted originally to read physically and I think it would be just a good time. It would be a good time. And it is the third book in the Cruel Prince trilogy, so. Now for the third challenge, it's read a book that inspired a movie you've already seen. Actually, I want to write almost like the rest of the challenges before we start. Oh, no, no, no. I don't know what I want to do. I'm going to write the next challenge. <laughs> I added an extra word. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, I wrote all the questions because I don't know. So the next cha challenge is read a book inspired by a movie you've already seen. And for that one, I again thought I was gonna have a lot harder of a time finding a book, but then I remembered that believe it or not, I still haven't read Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, and I have 100% seen that Disney movie. I have a tattoo. I have a tattoo from Alice in Wonderland, and I haven't read the book. And it is a children's book, so it is a children's classic, but it is fairly easy, I'm assuming, to read, and I thought that maybe I would have a really good time with it, so that is where we're at with that. Oh, that's a mess. That's okay, that's okay. It is a happy mess, as um, Bob Ross might say. My tabs, oh my god, it's just getting worse. <laughs> I feel like I have to have something to blot this. I do my nails a lot on my desk, so I have just a cotton pad. With old nail polish, we love that for me. Oh well. And I'm honestly not sure. I know that it's not one of the hard set challenges this year to read seven books, but I don't know if they're gonna do like last year and have like badges or a badge that's read seven books in the readathon. And if they do, I'm probably gonna still strive to read seven books, but for right now, I'm gonna kind of mix and match until I've thoroughly investigated the website. And I know you're probably thinking like, Brittany, why haven't you already thoroughly investigated the website? And um, well, I went to log in the other day and I didn't have an account. I don't know if maybe this is how they just did it for this year. Maybe every single person just got their accounts erased and then they all got new accounts. I don't think I got any kind of notification on that, but I know that I had to make a whole new account, which is kind of a bummer because I feel like if you want to like look back on anything from last year, now you can't. I don't know, I'm really bummed by that and I was kind of holding off on making a whole new account until I could figure out what was going on and I only made one last night. So I haven't thoroughly investigated the badges or anything like that and Therefore, I don't really know what's going on, but I do think that I might want to have like a little area in my spread once again to kind of stick on the badges, but I'm not really sure. I'm just not 
I'm going with the flow, guys. That leads me to the next question, which is read the first book you touch. And this one, I feel like what I'm going to end up doing is maybe putting together a bunch of like graphic novels slash manga that I'm interested in reading. And then in that vlog, whichever one I touch first is going to be the one that goes for this challenge. I just feel like it's going to be the best way to kind of have like an easy breezy time. And I think it'll be fun, which brings me to the fact of why this video is being made just so late in the game. I I, I, guys, I don't know if it is quarantine or the fact that I've just in general been feeling really uninspired or the fact that I have been doing room makeover that has literally been taking over my life. I thought it would take one day. That was silly. Oh, I can hear my roommates getting back home. They played lacrosse today. They're going in through the garage. Like a kind of shitty circle. See, that one got really bad, so now I have to make all the other ones, like, kind of bad. Oh. That's okay. That's okay. This stopped filming. Why did it stop filming? We're just, we're just gonna finish this up. <sighs> the next challenge is read a book completely outside of your house. And I feel like this has definitely been a controversial question for obvious reasons. I mean... We're in a pandemic. Like, if you can stay in your house, stay in your house. There's no good reason to just leave your house just to read a book. I rewatched their video a ton of times, and like, their first recommendation was really just reading in a car, which that might be what I ended up doing. But again, like, why am I gonna turn on my car, use up gas to turn on the AC because it's so freaking hot here just to read a book? I'm definitely debating this one. I might even just drive to my mom's house and read at her house because that's not my house, you know, you know? And I could potentially just read outside of my backyard while soaking up some of those sun rays, which I probably need because I probably should get more sun exposure, but I'm still debating on how I'm going to do this challenge specifically, but I'm definitely gonna do it with a graphic novel or with a manga. So something pretty quick, maybe even a poetry collection. Again, I'm kind of leaving this one up for debate for the moment of, but just to kind of give you an idea of the like manga slash graphic novels that I would be picking in between for the past two challenges, it would either be Check Please, Death Note Volume 2, because I still haven't read that, Uzumaki, which I'm pretty hyped if I do end up reading that one, but it is kind of thicker. Oh, Paper Girls, and I've been kind of wanting to order Saga and the next volume of Monstrous, so it could be in between any of those. Oh, I also have Cheese Sweet Home, which I think would be a good time, and Orange, which I still haven't finished from my Asian Readathon TBR. So those are kind of the books that I would be picking in between for those, just to give you an idea. And what do I want right here? I guess I could have like a log, you know, like a pages read kind of thing. This green marker is kind of not my favorite thing in the world. And by kind of, I mean like definitely working terribly. And I also thought it was going to be more mint because like looking at the cap now, I can definitely see oh, how did everything get smurged? That it's definitely supposed to be green green. This spread is looking atrocious. It's fine. I'm trying not to put too much pressure on myself. A battery. Okay, we're just gonna talk for a minute because I just want to like get this part at least busted out. I'm only putting down 200 pages per day and if I read way more than that, cool. That's awesome. I'm so proud of myself, but if I don't, I'm not gonna feel very bad about it. Gosh, this is a really terrible spread. See guys? <laughs> it just takes a lot of time to make my other ones. Oh my god, did I stop talking about the books? I did. The next challenge is read a book in a genre you want to read more of. And for this one, I figured that I could definitely 
intertwine this with my Alice's Adventures in Wonderland because it is a classic and I definitely have always said that I wanted to read more classics and I think that that's just like a really good one to mix in. But if any of the nonfiction books that I've added that I've put a hold on in my Libby account get withdrawn during that week then I think I'm going to end up reading or listening to one of those because I have been really intrigued by nonfiction lately, whether it's like self-help or kind of more like memoir style things. If you have any recommendations for anything along those lines, leave them down below because I'm intrigued. I didn't think that this was a genre that I would ever be interested in or into in general. So having my eyes opened up to it and kind of being way more interested in it than I ever would have assumed I was is super cool. So just leave me some of your recommendations because Maybe I'll check it out. Sorry if all my angles are different. <laughs> Batteries, as usual. This is looking terrible. We're gonna have to like fix up a lot of things. So now I think I'm gonna do my Instagram challenges and YouTube challenges on this page. I don't know how I wanna do this. See, I said fast spread when I really should have just said like an easy spread because now in my head I'm like, I have to do this as fast as possible and I'm kind of like messing up a lot, but that's fine. While I'm coloring this in, let's talk about the last challenge, which is read a book that takes place completely on a different continent than where you live. And for this, I once again have a couple of options because I am being very indecisive for this reading rush and I'm sorry if this TBR is quite annoying to you guys because of that, but I'm thinking that I'll either end up reading Uzumaki for this. Really any of my graphic novels, or graphic novels, any of my manga would work just because all of the ones that I am considering take place in Japan and I don't live in Japan. I live in the United States, so it would count for this challenge. I could also use Queen of Nothing if I end up actually reading that for this challenge because, I mean, it cannot possibly take place in the United- well, I mean, it kind of takes- I don't know. You know what I mean. Fantasy books kind of would count for this kind of challenge just because of the nature of fantasy books not being normally where you live. I think that that's kind of the route I'm going. Also, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland could count for this challenge because she is in Wonderland, which is not the United States. Because if the United States was Wonderland, I think I would have a heck of a lot more fun not understanding what was going on, you know what I mean? So I, again, have a myriad of different answers for that one topic. So let's, I'm gonna start writing out the Instagram challenges. So I'm gonna do them really quick and then we'll chit chat. I definitely had to kind of redo that whole Instagram area because I was not happy with how it was looking. I mean, this whole thing is kind of like, but we're just gonna go with it. So I'm gonna keep writing. I'm actually really excited though about the Instagram challenges. I've in general been trying, well, I've been wanting to up my Instagram game, just posting more regularly. I just think it would be a really good way for you guys to kind of keep up with me even when I'm not filming because right now I feel like I'm pretty bad at all kinds of social media. So I feel like having forced challenges is gonna be really fun and good for me. So let's hope for the best, you know? And it is kind of fading out because silver, and this is just a black marker, but it's fine. And then whenever I finish them, I'll just be coloring in these with like this lavender shade that I have. <laughs> Hopefully it'll look cute. I don't know. And now let's move on to the YouTube challenges. I am pretty glad overall that they have kind of lessened their challenges, but also, I don't know, it's gonna be kind of interesting because I just feel like it was kind of fun to have like a thing to do every single day, but we'll see. I know that there's a few challenges in each one. So the first one is your TBR pile, make a video sharing the books you're planning to read during the reading rush. I guess technically that's what this is, even though it's a very soft TBR. And then the next, which is make a reading vlog. This one I felt was a little strange. I don't know. I think that it just rubbed me 
the wrong way and I don't even want to say that like it's not tea or anything I just feel like the YouTube challenges were like I just was nonplussed I guess because just the way that they mentioned it too where it's like everyone makes reading vlogs anyways and it's like yeah we do just I feel like the one that rubbed me funny was when she was like make a cup of coffee or tea in your vlog and they were saying how it was just kind of like a comment on how everyone always makes a cup of tea or coffee in every single vlog that they ever see and it's just like montage footage and I don't know why that rubbed me the wrong way it really isn't like a rude statement like that that's 100% true, everyone always makes coffee and tea in their vlogs. But for some reason, I was just like, <laughs> rude. <laughs> but like, again, it's literally not, it's not a thing. And I actually am super excited to show my coffee and tea montage because I haven't done that in forever, I feel like. And it's just about time that one of my vlogs had that in it again because I used to do that so, so much. I'm interested about the reading rush tag because I don't know if that's been posted yet, but I definitely haven't seen seen it. I'll, I probably, it's probably been posted and I just, you know, didn't realize. But yeah, that's kind of it. So that's gonna be it for this spread. I think I'm just going to leave this blank for right now and then just do it later because this whole like shenanigan happened. And this is kind of my pretty ugly spread. <laughs> and my soft TBR for the reading rush. I hope this was kind of a fun video for you guys. It was kind of messy, I'm kind of messy. I've been having just a time, obviously, and I feel like you guys can definitely tell through my videos. You 100% can like feel the energy from them, and yeah, I really wanna fix that. I just like wanna start making things that I'm really excited about again. I really wanna start being excited about reading again, and I don't know if that's gonna have to... Hopefully this whole situation is really going to help out with that. I'm going to feel very involved in the community and excited about reading and excited about booktube again, but if for whatever reason it doesn't, I wonder if like it would just be a moment for me to take a break from reading. And that's just like not something that a booktuber can really do, you know? I don't know. I, I, I'm really just hoping for the best because I feel like I've been waiting for myself to get out of this reading slump for the past six months and it still hasn't happened, so we'll see. We'll see she said extremely nervously. And yeah, I mean, to leave this video off on a positive note, I'm excited to see what you guys think of my TBR. I'm excited to see if you have any recommendations for nonfiction books and please let me know if you guys are going to be participating in the reading rush and if you are what are some books that you're really excited about that are on your TBR. So yeah, thank you guys so so much for watching today. I am, you know, I complain a lot and I'm sorry about that but I really am excited to be able to talk to you every once in a while and chit chat and feel like I can just tell you guys anything. So <laughs> yes. I love y'all so, so much. Again, I hope you're staying really, really safe, and I will see you, I guess, starting tomorrow for my daily vlogs. I hope I did the earthquake thing. I don't know how to do it, but I hope that editing Brittany did the earthquake thing. So I did, and because my computer was running out of storage, I almost accidentally deleted every single file in my Final Cut Pro library. <laughs> almost a whole terabyte of files <laughs> because I couldn't figure out the earthquake and because my computer was running out of storage. <laughs> Day one of the reading rush, baby. <laughs> I don't know what these peace signs are. I am sorry. Also, I have no idea if this is going up on Monday or if I'm just gonna post it really late tonight on Sunday. Guess we'll find out. Bye. <laughs> Gotta stop looking up into the left corner while I do my thumbnails. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> This is supposed to be functional. We're having a good time. Boop, boop. I just remembered you guys can't see it because my above camera died. My face is too far away, really. Okay. So you don't even know what I'm talking about. <sighs> it's just too many times. What's up there? What, what am I looking at? You know, we changed this battery. Oh, and this battery's gonna die too. We have great timing. Thank you.